Hi, this is Mike again. Um, it's now 25 June 2015. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is just understanding how CPT and graphics come together. And there are lots of manuals that explain a lot of this, but I'm going to do this just as I see it. So I've done a couple of things here. On my desktop, I've created a shortcut from my folder which which is on my D drive it can, as you know it can be anywhere but I've just put it on my desktop to the first May release okay so I'm going to use that let me delete um, this one here actually it's the same link so I'll just leave that there I've also downloaded a program called notepad plus plus just google that it's free it's very good and I'll explain why we're going to do that in a moment so let's just um, put a shortcut on the desktop and there it is running um, so we'll just leave that for a moment so let's just explore now the makeup of how we can easily create graphics and then you reuse them later and create project templates so I also have FileZilla here and what I'm going to do is just connect to my controller here 10.11 on the SD card. Now if you go into web you will see we have backups, we have this thing called old that just supports some of the older stations. I'm going to back up the CPT folder because I actually want to delete it and show you why. Now it may just take a while because I've got lots of things in there. I've got lots of backups and image files and all kinds of stuff but while we're doing that let's just um, open CPT and um, do the first thing. The first thing is we create a project. And as you can see, these are the controllers in this current project. So if you click on this little icon here, and we're going to call this um, um, Chiller Project. Okay. When we do that, it creates a folder in CPT. So what I'll do afterwards is have a look and make sure it did create this folder. So press OK and now you'll see we don't have any controllers. So the first controller we can name and we're going to call this <coughs> Chiller Plant 1. <coughs> and just keep that simple. Everything else remains the same. You, again you select your folders. I normally keep all mine in 3.8, my Sedona folders. And we go into the controller. So. Once we open the folder, it should create the folder in CPT. So let's just minimize that. Go back to my shortcut, go into here, go into files, and sure enough, it created a project called Chiller Project. If you go inside that, Chiller Plant is the first controller, and there are the graphics for that controller. And it starts with a welcome page. All well and good. Let's open that welcome page now, edit with Notepad, and you will see we just have a little bit of XML code in there. Now, I've just got to remember how we do this. I'm pretty sure you just have to view it as XML. Uh, or is it language? I can't remember now. Well, oh, there, XML. Okay, and then I believe you can make it... Um, easier to read on the page but as you can see every graphic really is just talking about the canvas size the color and basically any change you make is made in this file so of course it's reusable so what we're going to do next is have a look at other GR files we have in this CPT version so if I go back to files here and I search for star.jar which I already have there you'll see it brings up all the different ones I have from different projects and after a while you get to know them. You think, oh, that glycol.gr is a good one. Um, there's one here for schedules that's a good one. So I'm going to leave that open and we'll come back to that afterwards. Um, the next thing in CPT, of course, are um, graphics. So if you go into assets and imported, they're all our imported images. Okay, so that's where you put anything you want to use in your graphics. It can be floor plans or anything. Okay, um, just close that. Now go to CPT, open 
this project. Now you've got to select the right one, so hit the project one here, chiller plant one, open, and now we can start doing something. Okay, so now we have an empty folder. If you open the graphics tab there, you'll see we have the welcome screen. Now, what I'm going to do, CPT has been copied, I'm going to delete that folder now, because I want to make you comfortable that all of this makes sense, and once backed up, everything is secure. Now, there's one other thing I haven't told you about yet, and that is where I keep all my backups. And you could put these on a server, you could put them on Dropbox, and you can see our CPT folder has now disappeared. Let's just minimize that. So, in order to recreate that CPT folder, the same as if you were putting a blank SD card inside the controller, all we would do is do save, go to the controller name, okay, action, just do a re, well, we'll do a, a restart is enough actually. Just hit restart, that just restarts the virtual machine. It doesn't take that long to get that back up and running. Again, make sure you select the right project. It's open. And we're back in. If we now reconnect to the, um, in fact, if we just refresh that, actually, it might work. No, I'm just going to reconnect. But maybe it does have to be a reboot. I can't remember. I thought a refresh would do it. And it looks like it didn't. Okay, so let's do a reboot. <coughs> when I do these videos, I don't expect them to be perfect because I'm sure anyone watching this will go through the same thing that I'm going through and I believe it's the best way to learn. So, re controller just rebooting now. Um, just close that. Just go back in. It's not running just yet. It won't take too long, but it should be in there soon. <coughs> Let's just see if this is running yet on the on the FTP side, no, the controller is still starting up. So I'll just wait for that to finish. Yeah, I can see the lights have just come on. I think I was a little bit too hasty there. Let's just start that again. And um, there it is. So we're in this time. That's great. Now, the reason I didn't try and deploy it or do anything is I want to make sure that CPT folder has been created automatically when the controller rebooted. So go back into web, refresh, and we still don't have a CPT folder. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it should have created one. Um, let's just try that again. Let's try a, a full deploy. I don't think it's going to do it, actually. Let's go back. Well, it is working, so the folder must be there. It must just be my FileZilla. So anyway, doing a full deploy will create that CPT folder, and it will put all the images and everything in place as per what is in my imported images folder in CPT. Right, so what we've done now basically is created our first graphic. It's not very useful, but we've created a graphic. Okay, and what you could do here is just um, you know, start creating your template here. So whether you want to save it as a project template or you want to keep these uh, GR files as templates is really up to you. Um, let me think what we should do here. So what we should do is just delete everything on this page. There is an icon for that there. Select all and delete. And if I just do a normal deploy now and hit this preview bar, will take me to my graphic the login screen will work. And we'll have a graphic basically with nothing on it. Now, if you want to put your company image in the um, opening page, you see we've got a blank graphic, which is what we intended. So if you want to put a blank, if you want to put your logo in here, what you can do is go to Tools, Options, Graphics, and click on this icon here, and go somewhere where you believe Usually they're in graphics, that's where you should, I normally put them under assets, under imported. And let's just find some picture here that might be useful. Um, let's say I want this to be this backnet picture. Let's press OK. If I now do a full deploy again, 
because I've got to get that image into the controller onto the SD card, the one I've selected. Okay, so now it's starting. Let's just restart FileZilla again while it's doing that and just make sure we do have the CPT file. It must be there, otherwise the graphics wouldn't work. It's just me. And there it is, you see? Going to CPT, and what we've now created is um, the app. GR data is where the graphics live. So we've got a welcome.gr file, and we've got a navigation file. That again, is updated every time you add a GR file, and every time you do a deploy. So all looks great. Um, the deploy will just go through now. It's just checking everything. The reason it's slow is I have a lot of images in my graphics imported folder. So if you want the deploy, the fact the full deploy to be faster, take out any stuff that you're not using that are in this folder. Let me show you. I did show you before, but I'll just show you again. So if you go to graphics, assets, imported, I have lots of garbage in here. And if I just select the size of that, you'll see I've got 55 meg, which it's quite a lot really, more than you need. So we're just going to have to let this thing um, run through. But while we're doing that, what we could do is go and grab one of those GR files that I looked at earlier and look at, and let's say I want to reuse something into this new project. And all you would do is just run through them. Um, I do remember most of them. Now, <coughs> I can't find the one I'm looking for. So what we do is this. We widen our search. So go back to my, this time I'm going to go to where I back up all my CPTs. And I have a thing called CPT backups here. And look at them, there's many. So if I go to our latest air hand, VAV air handling unit reference document, which is here, I always put the name of the firmware on the end. So this is built with firmware.42. If I open that folder, go into CPT, it's just like the SD card, go into AMP, go into GR data, there are my graphics. And the one I wanted was the schedule. So let's just copy that. Let's now navigate that back to, I'm going to do it from the desktop because you can see me doing it then. Just go into the CPT dev, go into files, go into this project now, Chiller Plan 1, graphics, and paste it in here. Now, if you want to look at what this looks like, we can also open it with Notepad. Now, I've forgotten how to do it in Notepad++, but you can make it so it wraps. Yeah, word wrap. And there it is. So you can see, <coughs> it's just lots of, it's like a map. I call it a map. It's just linking together everything in your graphic and all your points, strings, whatever, in your logic, just linking them all together. Now, obviously, there's a lot, of, a lot of links in here that we're not using because this is from another project. But when we do a deploy, all those links will be taken out. So don't fear that. So <coughs> our deploy is still going slow. <coughs> and, uh, and that's because I deleted that folder. It's updating everything. So we'll just leave that to uh, do its thing. And what we'll concentrate on is looking at these GR files. So um, we will do that. I think this thing's kind of going far too slow. So I'm going to delete it. Let's go to schedule. That's what we just imported. So if I go to um, this particular one, you will see the bindings that already exist, which don't exist now. So this is quite a complex one because it's got a lot of points. But what you could do is just highlight that right hand mouse over this where it says input date to go edit. You can see that doesn't exist. So all you would do, again, is just press OK, and now it's not linked to anything. OK, even though it still says it is, it's not going to do anything. Just do a normal deploy there. Uh, it's going to try, yeah, there it goes. And just clean that up. Go back to here, and uh, our schedule will appear without any data. So you can just go up through and edit that. So all well and good. By all means, use these templates. They are very good. And all you would do then, let's say the project's finished, which of course it's not, but I'm just going to pretend that it is. What you would do is go to this wrench up here now and do a backup. And we're going to call this um, Q 
can one now <coughs> you can also back up your DB file if you're using the, the database and hit backup and what that will do is spend about one to two minutes backing up everything so that you end up with a file that is just like my CPT backups so let's just go into there again well all it's doing is creating this exactly as it is now okay that's so that's finished now and it will give us the opportunity to back that up into your pre-nominated folder up here okay so that's all well and good let's log back into that again and um, if we now wanted to put in another backup all I would have to do is go to one down here pick up that V and do a restore you can do this from the browser as well so we'll just let that do its thing so that is now restored let's just log into it see what it looks like and you will see that we have um, a project that is now different to the name that we gave it in the first place so normally you wouldn't do it this way unless you were just going to edit what's in there so another fast way of getting the graphics that was in this backup restore is just to hit this download button open a graphic first and hit this download button and it will import all those other G for GR files now you probably already have those GR files if they don't do anything until you deploy it into the project but you can see now we have an overrides page and it's perfect for working out it's not really a copy and paste it's really good for just reusing some really good material from other projects so I hope that helps. Um, we can always do a part two, but let me know if that did help. That's the main thing.